can actually move forward. Honorable Speaker, as I support, I want to indicate that uh, this is a country which is reeling in high uh, borrowing, like it has been indicated. Uh, that uh, currently we have an outstanding debt of over six, uh, 9.63 trillion, and with a debt ceiling of uh, 10 trillion. And of the two of the 10 trillion, about 4.5 uh, trillion is domestic, while 5.09 is uh, foreign. And uh, we already have a budget which has a deficit of uh, 718 billion. And if you look at the fiscal space for borrowing, then it means we have only a fiscal space of about 400. So indeed, it will be very difficult to finance the current budget, 2023-2024, without uh, doing something about our ceiling levels because our fiscal space is so small. I would wish to indicate that uh, indeed it's good practice by, as advised by the IMF that every country must borrow as per its uh, capacity to carry the debt. And therefore that's why this bill proposes that we move from uh, a figure of 10 trillion, or if we were to increase it to 11 or 12, given the history that this figure was increased beginning 20, 2013 from 1 point something trillion and currently it is standing at 10 trillion. I remember for the longest time many Kenyans imagined that Kenya has a lot of money. And uh, with the rampant corruption that was going on within the country, the members of the public would understand that there's too much money in this country that cannot get finished even if there's corruption. But the truth, Honorable Speaker, and to this House and Kenyans is that we were depending on daily basis on borrowing. And each time we depleted our stocks, we went back to Parliament and still got more loan, and that's how we sustained ourselves all the years, especially, remarkably, if you look at the figures as they are, the time between 2013 and 2017 coming 2022 because within that time alone we were able to more than triple the uh, foreign debt from about 2 trillion to over 10 trillion as it stands today and therefore there's need to manage our our our, our debt depending on our carrying capacity and given that we are going the IMF way and World Bank way the so-called Britain Woods institutions then it is important that uh, we regulate our borrowing depending on our current capacity, and that's why a threshold of 55% debt anchor is being proposed. And that will be able to, uh, to make us, in reality, reduce on our borrowing. Currently, what is the percentum of our debt vis-a-vis -vis the GDP? It is much higher, like it has been indicated by, by the mover and the seconder. We were very lucky to have very strong mover and very strong seconder, two strong economists uh, moving this particular bill. So we are standing at over 60%. It's about 62.5%. But now we want to come down to 55. So in all this, it's a good because the holistic agenda of this bill, therefore, is to try and move down the debt and manage it so that we move from where we are to a downward figure. And therefore, I think it is uh, good uh, but then we have to put several measures in place to make sure that we don't, we don't allow our powers to be ceded to the minister. I want to indicate, as proposed by both the mover and the, and the seconder, that uh, it should not be, and the parliament should not allow its powers of controlling the foreign debt to go to the minister. And I think both the mover and the seconder did not indicate the fact that within this bill, there was an attempt to try and lower the threshold of who was to manage debt to a level of regulation and not act. And that would have been very, very dangerous. I want to believe that in the third reading, we should be able to correct that, both as a committee and the House, that matters relating to foreign debt and borrowing must be exclusively in the hands of the parliament and not uh, be downgraded to a regulation where the minister can do uh, whatever he wants to do, borrow, get out of the threshold, and still only come to Parliament for borrowing. Because if we did that, then Parliament would have completely abdicated its duty of uh, managing both debt and budget of this particular country. 
Honorable Speaker, I know of very few countries that have gone the debt anchor way, but as Kenya, we need to be brave enough to actually confront it in that manner because it is going to make sure that we manage our debt. Finally, as I finish, Honorable Speaker, I want to indicate that, uh, that, that the too much appetite we have for borrowing in this particular country needs to be managed. And that's why yesterday we were dealing with the tax laws and ways of raising funds, which will go a long way to try and, 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 and manage this. But above all is the creation of a sinking fund. If we had a sinking fund during the time when the Eurobond 2014 was actually bought, then by now we would have actually sunk enough money within the, that particular sinking fund to manage and also help in paying the Eurobond. I support fully the fact that we need to go for concessional loans and long-term bonds, uh, long-term tenure bonds that will actually then can be used to pay the short-term uh, debts that we have and which are very expensive and are reeling this country in, in great trouble. Honorable Speaker, I want to support this uh, bill and urge the House to support it because we have to cut our clothes depending on our size. This will be a little bit difficult, but that's the way we need to go so as to manage the country. And in so doing, we have to also improve on productivity because one other thing that really has made our borrowing to be increased is the fact that we don't have foreign exchange and our balance of payments are very poor. That uh, the days of the coffee and tea where we used to export quite a number of goods outside and therefore would earn foreign exchange are no longer in existence and we are actually relying on everything to get the foreign exchange. And it's was hit by the fact that, and I like the discussion of yesterday, Honorable Speaker, that we are importing everything and therefore we need a 100% dollar for us to import everything that we want. And therefore, as I saw, some measures being put on importation of steel, importation of things that can be produced within this country, that was a very good measure because we must start producing, exporting our own goods so that we can get foreign exchange, which in turn will reduce the burden that we have in that particular area. With those few remarks, Honorable Speaker, I want to thank you and support. Honorable members, I want to direct as follows. I will give John Bardi five minutes, Oundo five minutes, then I'll call the mover to reply. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Hold on, buddy. Let me, maybe on this side, I'll give the chair of finance. The rest, hold your horses. Uh, you know, let me tell you why I'm doing this. These are time-bound legislations. You can see the hemorrhage in the house is quite high, and we need to put the question when we have quorum, and these bills must be ascended to or no before Friday.